10 out of 10 machinists would say that I'm an idiot. All right, it's another day of attempting to do a cheap at home do it yourself ring job on the 250 cubic inch straight six in the 1967 Chevy C10 barn find. There's about a 50% chance that this thing's even gonna run when we're done doing what we're doing to it. But hey, we're Americans. We're not afraid to take a chance. The last time we were working on this project, the only thing that we had left to take out of the engine so that we can hone the cylinders was the crankshaft. But I have an idea. Let's not break the torque on the mains. Let's not disrupt the rear main seal that doesn't leak. But there's just one thing that might stand in our way and ruin everything. After we hone these cylinders and measure them, if we need to run an oversized spring, we are in big, fat, hairy trouble. Because even though we could run 10 oversized rings on these stock pistons, they're not available right now. I can't find them anywhere. So let's do this and see what happens. We'll pick on this one here. Lube it up. And we'll go ah, medium speed. And I don't even know what grit these stones are, by the way. It doesn't matter if you're just trying to get something running like this. You know, you're not doing a race car or something for a customer. Good. We'll take a look. Oh yeah, that actually looks pretty nice. They didn't turn out nearly as good as I was hoping they would. 10 out of 10 machinists would say that I'm an idiot and this needs to go to the machine shop and be overboard. But that would mean the credit card's got to come out. Now all these spots you see where it looks like the hone didn't even make contact with the cylinder wall. That's because the, these cylinders are they're not completely straight and true. You know, they, they kind of, the walls kind of go like that. And we could clean it up some more if we kept honing on it, but I'm afraid that that would push us into needing to run those oversized rings. And that's going to shut us down. So, you know, this is America. We've walked on the moon. I'm not scared to try this. I mean, it, it's going to be better than it was. There's about a 72% chance that my math is correct, and if it is, we're just barely squeaking by with being able to run standard size rings by a couple thousandths. So that's great news. On the other hand, the taper is way, way too much, but I'm an outlaw. I'm going to go for it. I hope you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to get the rings and the gaskets ordered and the next time you see this engine and this truck, we're going to throw it all back together, we'll floor fire it, and if it runs halfway decent, we'll throw it back in the truck and hit the road and we'll see what she does. She might even have some more power and maybe the old Chevy 250 straight six three on the tree combo will squawk the tires or throw a drive shaft.